Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I'm back for another game video. And this time we're returning to a game I've already covered on the channel, uh, but with good reason. We're looking at a already insane game and we're going to make it even crazier. <laughs> so what I have up and running here is Goat Simulator. Yes, Goat Simulator. I've covered this on the channel last year. I have did a low vision spotlight for it. And I used it as a backdrop for one of the other videos where I was talking. I don't remember what event I was covering or talking about. It might have been the... It might have been actually the Apple iPhone event. I don't remember. But uh, <clears throat> I used it just to kind of play around in. Um, so go back and check those out if you want to. Um, you know, check out the original Low Vision Spotlight for Goat Simulator. This game is just madness. For those who are unfamiliar with Goat Simulator, you're like, what in the hell would you be doing in a game called Goat Simulator? Well, you are a goat, you have a crazy long tongue, and you lick everything, you headbutt and crash into everything. You basically, you go through these kind of rural and urban environments and just wreck the crap out of everything. Um, which is fun enough on its own. It's just, you know, crazy lunacy to begin with. Well, uh, not too long ago, as I'm recording this, uh, they came out with a new kind of little expansion. I should say, previously, a little while ago, they, they came out with, like, this weird MMO parody. So it was, like, MMO Goat Simulator or something. I haven't even really played that yet. I'm not generally too much of a fan of... MMOs, you know, partly the monthly fee and partly, you know, it's like, oh, it's not quite turn-based combat, but it's, you know, it's like, oh, hit a hit one, two, three or whatever, wait for a cool down bar, hit something else. Eh, it's just, just not my type of combat, not my type of thing. Um, I like more of a, an actual real-time combat-ish game thing going on there. So they added that. That was a free add-on. But then just recently they released this Goat Z is what we're looking at here this time. It's called Goat Z. And if you've heard of Daisy, which has been it started out as an Arma th Arma 2 or Arma 3, I forget. Uh it was a mod and they've been working on a standalone version of it forever. I think the standalone version of Daisy is in early access. There are also loads of other these open world survival type games. You've got your Day Z, you've got Rust, uh, The Forest, Seven Days to Die. Those are just a couple that, those are a few that I can just name right off the top of my head. But there are getting to be just oodles of these. And so Goat Simulator decided, yeah, you know what, we're going to make fun of them too. So <laughs> we're going to do that. So if you ha aren't familiar, um, we got our main menu here. Uh, depending on what mode you're in or whatever, when you're in the standard mode, it's green. Um, we've got some kind of pinkish buttons now. Contrast isn't too bad, but with the background, it can be a little bit maybe harder. You know, if, if you have some contrast issues, it be a little bit harder to read there. Um, but generally, the text isn't too terrible. It's, you know, you got a decent contrast, decent sized text. Uh, we're going to go to play. And on the right-hand side, we have where we select our game type. So we can play our classic Goat Simulator. They came out with another map for it later on. I think the second map is where I kind of played that in the background for one of those other event coverage videos, reaction videos that I did last year. You have your MMO thing. And then you have your Goat Z before and after the apocalypse. So we're gonna say before, and down below you have these mutators that you can turn on. So uh, I'm not gonna enable any of these right now, but there are just tons of these little things that you can turn on and off that affect the game. You know, you can get items, you can, but they do, they affect the game in just fun and screwy ways. And there's just tons of these now. So that is pretty cool. We are gonna play I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, and uh, controls are generally pretty simple, just your standard WASD, E to lick, Q to go into a weird ragdoll mode, and F to do slow-mo. So, I live again. 
There we go. We are Zombie Goat. We have risen from the dead to start a zombie apocalypse. And uh, yes, for that reference, that uh, was a blood reference for any classic PC gamers out there. I live again. That was a cool game, by the way. That was a really cool game. I think my favorite my favorite thing to do in that game is there is a pistol or whatever, I some kind of gun in there, and uh, the alternate fire you could start people on fire, and that was just the funniest thing to do back then. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So we are starting out now. You notice that our HUD is pretty empty right now. We as I careen down this hill. <laughs> um. Right now we're playing standard goat simulator. We don't have to worry about survival. We don't have to worry about any of that right now. Uh, we can explore the environment. You know, we're pretty good. So we got people there. I could hit number one, the one key and infect them. I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to explore around a little bit. So if I hit E... So now I have this weird, super crazy long tongue. And I can, you know, I can do this to objects, I can do it to people, um, just all kinds of, like I said, all kinds of nonsense. So we are gonna, I'll let you live for now, but you know, you, the zombies are gonna come for you soon enough, buddy. Look at his neck, he's just, his neck, the way it's just like lolling off to the side when I run, just bleh. Okay, where do we want to go? What looks fun? Um, I promise I will do the zombie... Okay, we're not going to go there yet. Uh, I will start the zombie apocalypse, but like I said, I do kind of want to look around a little bit and at least show you guys a little bit of the world. I'm not going to try every little area. I'm not going to show you every little thing. Um, but I do want to show you at least, like, hey, here's some of the things that we possibly could do. Alright, so we've got a studio, it looks like, here. Got a green screen. Yeah! Bust through the thing. What do we got across the street? Okay, some kind of... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're doing bad goat comedy. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, you must be destroyed. I will come for you. You know what's funny? Goats. Ah, wow. Okay. It's one of the, it's like a train wreck. I can't, it's really really horrible, but I can't look away. I have to see I mean, obviously they put a lot of work in. That's what's funny about this. Is this whole game is just, it started out as a joke. I think, like, even the original Goat Simulator, it started out as this, like, April Fool's thing or some kind of joke thing, and people were like, oh no, that sounds amazing. So they actually ended up developing the original Goat Simulator, and it's just taken off. Like I said, they've added these modes, these levels. Uh, I, I love it, it's just complete ridiculous. So, okay, we've got a really bad comedy club, we've got. Uh, a record, uh, a TV studio over there. What other type of thing? What other types of things can we explore? I want to find the mall. Is what I really want to find. I want to see what kind of stores are in there. Rumor has it, I think the, I think I saw an elephant in there at one time. Okay, we got a parking lot. What do we got over here? Little stands. But yeah, I mean, you know, just the thought that, oh, okay, we're going to make all these bad jokes, or we're going to give dialogue, we're going to, 
I mean, the worlds themselves are actually, there's a lot in there, you know, as far as like, okay, we got a stand here. Okay, we got a guy with a guitar. A guitar stand. I didn't really know there was such a thing, but sure, why not? Looks like an acoustic and electric guitar back there. Uh, let's follow the road and see what else. Like I said, I, I promise we will get to the the mayhem and probably suckage uh, very soon. But it does help to kind of just look around the environment just to see like where I'm going to actually be exploring. There's a big old building. Can I get in there, I wonder? Whoa. What did I jump off of? He bounced. Oh! The mattress. Okay. Whee! Yeah, that was in the original game, too. Alright. Oh, what do we got in here? What the heck is this place? Can I... Uh. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, we're going to look around a little bit more. Can I jump up here? What do we got? Ooh, what do we got in here? <coughs> can I go in the elevator? Oh, I can. It's going to take me up, too. Sweet. I wonder if I'll go to the roof. I like the elevator music they chose. Uh, are you going to let me out? Let me out. Uh-oh. Whoa, what? Um. So it's... All right, I can't see a damn thing. Uh, I hear people. How do I get out? Can I headbutt? How do I get out of here? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, now we're, okay, now we're back down again. Okay, well, supposedly, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to be able to get out of there. I'll play with that again later. Uh, let's see what else we got around here. Um, I know, I know, I know. I'm just teasing the mayhem. I'm, I'm teasing the zombie part, but you know what? That's all right. Got to get a lay of the land. Got to see what kind of mayhem we're going to be able to cause. Um, it's funny just to see the jokes that they come up with, too, because I think when I was... I'm trying to remember... Um, I said there's all kinds of little kiosks and stands, and there's a mall around here somewhere. Uh, all that stuff, there's all kinds of just stores. Oh, yeah, this place. <laughs> this looks like some sort of... Uh, support group in there or something going on. Um, nah. Let's see. Whoa, I almost got run over. Uh, real quick, and then we'll start, we'll kickstart the apocalypse here. I want to go see... What was up this way again? Was this where the TV studio was? Z. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the mall. All right, cool. We're going to explore the mall before we start the apocalypse. I want to see what's in this mall. All right, we got that. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, I can't believe somebody actually made that reference. I can't stand that original song. Who oh, let the dogs out? Yeah, if that's what music has come to these days, it's kind of sad. Uh, get out of the damn store. Ooh, bumper cars. Can I play in the bumper cars? I can control them, but I can't... Oh, man, I want to get in them. I want to ride a bumper car as a goat around the mall. Because I can. Well, I can't, but I wish I could. Alright, so we wrecked. Uh, okay, top shelf liquor. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what kind of jokes they have for these stores. Okay. Olisters. Okay. Ah! Apple store. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, and it's okay. That that that's pretty good. Yep, that looks like an apple store, and and, and except they're just a whole bunch of apples. That's pretty good. They got the yep, the complete with the open tables, the lighting, the just the way the yep. That's that's an apple store. <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm surprised. I wish there was a. They should have like a guy with a. Shirt, uh, just like a shirt with an apple on it or something, just to totally make fun of it. All right, that was pretty good. That was worth seeing. That was funny. All right, let's go up here. What do we got upstairs? Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. All right, we're... For being a mall, this thing is pretty small. <laughs> okay. All right, enough nonsense. We're going to start the... We're going to... Turn you guys into zombies. Okay, we got a zombie on level two. We're gonna go down stairs here. We're gonna cause more mayhem. We're gonna turn you into a zombie. And we're gonna go into... Let's go to the Apple store. Whoa, or go crazy in the bumper cars. We'll do that too, that works too. Actually, you know what? Let's zombify the liquor store owner guy. Hey, buddy. Brains. Here we go. <laughs> I love the demonic one. That, that's my favorite. This is some pissed off demon zombie. All right. So, we've infected enough zombies. Uh, basically, the whole time in the upper right corner, it was telling us that, hey, if we want to infect so many people to kickstart the apocalypse so even though I looked around the map I'm really not exactly sure uh, where everything is so we're getting an overview here's our mall things have gone really badly there and we get aliens and uh, there was a place earlier was it in this video uh, or was it before I found it there is a UFO somewhere and so not only is this a survival game now that I've triggered it, um, now you're going to see things on my HUD. Okay, Goat Z, survive for your life, <laughs> complete with the Daisy-esque logo. All right, so we start in here, and we are given little objectives that we want to, that they want us to meet, and they kind of depend on where you are in the map. We're going to bust this down for the future. And I'm going to show you, not only is this a survival game, but we're going to go, here's where we can craft things. Yes, this is like a open world survival thing where you actually craft stuff. We're going to grab the beer bong because we're a goat and we need our alcohol. Okay, well, anyway. We're going to go in here. We Here we got our little crafting area. Oh, wait, did it not fall? Oh, wait. Uh, okay, we're going to grab this. Where the hell did my beer bong go? Beer bong! Where'd you go? Come here, you stupid beer bong. What? Okay. Get your ass over here. Now I'm wasting so much time. 
I don't want to run a lot because that uses a lot more energy. All right, so check this out. Yay! Uh, if I go over here and hit R, you get a blueprint list of all these recipes. So if you find these little items in the world that have little like cards over them, that means there's something you can lick, you can pick up, and you can use for craftable items. I want to kill some zombies here. Okay. Ow. I want to eat those brains, and if I see food and stuff, I want to eat those, because... Uh, okay. I ate, so I have to rip ass. Alright, got it. Alright, so we're doing that, I guess. Oh. Hey, you're coming with me. Okay, no, you're not. Alright. And you want to survive... The goal is to survive as... Oh, crap. I'm out of... Uh-oh. I'm out of my weapon. Get the hell out of here. Alright, so... Oh, I'm so bad with directions. I have no freaking idea. Now, you can actually ride a... Supposedly, you can ride a bike. I did it once, and I don't know how I did it. But it's really hilarious to... To see a goat riding a bike. Now, another thing you can do... Like I said, at any time. Oh, oh, how did I miss? Okay, that was my totally my bad. Oh, you quit spitting your shit at me. Mm. Wow, I'm just aiming horribly today. All right, screw that guy. We're going to go in here, see if we can... Oh, okay. Uh, do you have any food nearby that I can munch? Like, there's a is there a banquet hall where I can... See, where was the mall from here? I totally forgot already. Uh, we're going to look for food, because we need food really bad. Let's go over this way. Can't go in there. Oh, wait. There's some food in here, I think. Don't mind me. I'm just a goat. There we go. Yeah, vittles. All right. We're going to leave there because I don't want to... I got stuck in that environment once. Like I said, this game is its meant to be partially glitchy, so just weird shit happens from time to time. Okay, okay, here we go. The mall was up this way by this big daisy... Jesus. Or this goat Z. Oh, get off the road. Going to the mall. Going to kill some stuff at the mall. Here we go, yeah. Mm. Whoa! Holy crap. Pwned that guy into a... Oh yeah, the Apple Store. I can get a whole bunch of food in here. Yeah. Get... Oh, I wonder if I can get drunk. I didn't even try... I didn't even think to try that. Holy shit, there's guys everywhere. Uh-oh. No! I died right as I got in here. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I hate you so much. Alright, let's respawn. I'm not going to waste a lot of time in that first area. I'm going to try to go get the beer bong real quick and then at least get the weapon and then I'll try to remember how to get over there again. I think I sort of kind of know how to get over to the mall. But if I can kind of play around in that area, kill kill some guys, like I said, if any once I kill the zombies, I can eat their brain to get some health. Um, I have the apple store so I can keep munching on those apples. Uh, that might be a good place to go toward to both rack up some kills if I don't die first and hang out buy some food. I think it's a Walking Dead reference there. This is a governor. Alright, so we got our crafting. There's our gate. Goat Z. All right, here we go again. That, okay, step one, bash that down. Step two, get the hell out of there. All right, bash that. Move already, good lord, people. We're gonna go around there. We're gonna go to this dude's backyard. Cause this guy knows what's up. He's gonna, I'm gonna grab the beer bong. 
thing. Hopefully it's coming with me this time. Shut up, zombie. Alright, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab... Alright, there we go. Yay! Kill the zombie! Alright, we're just gonna hoof it. Because I got a weapon now. We are gonna run. Mmm, how you doing? Oh, there's a loot crate. Let's bash that open real quick. Yeah, Loot Crate, uh, that's a service I haven't covered on the channel, but I did briefly try it out. Eh, it's okay, it's like a monthly thing where they send you this little box of stuff, like you get these like nerdy things, and there were a couple things in there, but eh, overall I think it really wasn't, really wasn't as cool as I was hoping it would be. Um... A lot of little knickknacks, a few books and stuff like that. I mean, it, it was kind of a neat... What the hell is going on over there? Okay. I'm just trying to get some food over there. Okay, we want to go... Yeah, we want to go up. No. Cross the road. Not get run over. I'm probably going the absolute longest way there. But we're going to go to the mall. Go to the mall. Go to the Apple Store, get... Oh, there's a Loot Crate there, too. But yeah, Loot Crate is this thing where, like I said, there's... There we go. Alright, guys, it's on. Alright. Alright. All right, I got food. Um, so I have to manage my hunger. I have to manage my health. Kill some of these zombies. I gotta get some brains in me here so I can. All right. Oh my God, there's. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are wrecking the crap out of this apple store. Yeah, brains. Kill some zombies. Excellent. There, now we're causing some proper mischief. Mayhem. Apocalyptic carnage. Alright. <laughs> started eating so much he starts Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, you, this is this is this is the humor you signed up for, folks. This is Goat Z. Complete craziness. We're not above a few fart jokes, that's alright. Oh yeah. Come on. Yeah! There we go. Slow-mo that guy just punched the shit out of him. Okay, this guy, I think he throws shit at me, so I'm going to try to kill him real quick. Brains. How you, how you doing, buddy? You want me to go get some more food in the Apple Store? I think there should be some left. Get up! Ah! There we go, a little more food. Alright, you need to quit spitting your stuff all over here. Come here! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that slow-mo thing is pretty good. That's pretty funny. Uh, I saw, I think I saw a roller coaster in this level somewhere. There's a huge water slide that I haven't gone on yet. Uh, so whether I, I probably will do that like outside of the survival part because you can play before the apocalypse You can play this game just like regular goat simulator where you don't have to worry about life bars and survival and hunger and all that nonsense uh, This is pretty fun, but uh, I like playing regular old goat simulator too. Holy Christ. There's zombies everywhere I should go upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs again. Uh, get up the escalator. Come on. Oh. Oh, what? I died. You kidding? Ah. Well, you know what? Um, I think that gives you plenty of an idea what this game is like. This is Goat Z. It is a. Uh, it is downloadable content for Goat Simulator. This is paid DLC, five bucks. But you know what? Um, if you just like complete ridiculous, you really can't go wrong here. <laughs> this uh, 
I think it's worth the price of admission. Goat Simulator itself is worth the price of admission. Um, is completely dumb and over the top crazy in all the all the right ways. <laughs> um, but it it is just a fun little game. Uh, like I said, if you haven't watched my original, um, I was gonna say Goat Z, Goat Simulator Low Vision Spotlight, go check that out from last year. Um, and then, uh, yeah, like, this is Goat Z. Uh, like I said, I would say, I would recommend that you guys, if you are looking at playing this, that you do have a fairly good machine to run it. I know even, uh, it's meant to be glitchy, and the physics are completely ridiculous, um, and there definitely are still some glitches, some not intentional, some intentional, I guess, but it's just the way it works. But, that said, I do notice a pretty good performance boost uh, from playing it on my new machine versus playing it on the old computer that I was using last year. Uh, you know, a decent machine, but uh, having this better video card, uh, more memory and stuff, that definitely does help because I, you know, when I was playing the game last year, I had to be a little bit careful about what I was doing. If I was causing too much mayhem, if there was too much stuff flying around the screen, I would get the game to actually crash um, I would get the game to really chug at some points. Um, I still, even on this card, I do see some pop in here and there uh, when I'm running throughout the world, but I generally notice that the game performs generally a lot better and is, is a bit more stable. So, yeah, that is Goat Z, available now on Steam for about five bucks. And uh, you do need the original Goat Simulator to play it. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun and very crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.